We see a lot of Wall Street with money staying on the sidelines, not just really full. A lot, there's been a lot of low trading volume. And so I think we need to see a huge stimulus plan for everybody to jump back in. Yeah, and I, I kind of to take a more optimistic stance here. I do think that the stimulus really is needed because there are a lot of people who are out of work still. And even though the economy is recovering, there's still people who haven't had paychecks for quite a while. But when you look at the economy or the stock markets, I really don't think that they're as dependent on this stimulus package as much as I think a lot of us are led to believe. And we are seeing that just with the stimulus that's come in, we are seeing this V-shaped recovery in GDP. And we are seeing people are still spending and people actually have done a really good job of putting themselves in a good position to kind of right. weather through even all of this um, ups and downs going on if the next stimulus package is going to happen because people have saved a lot more, paid down a lot of credit card debt, which is why they're still spending right now. So um, I don't want this to go a lot right, longer, let's, let's, but I think that it can that. sustain a little bit longer. I want to talk about something that I don't think is getting enough attention, right? The U.S. dollar. Uh, look, I know it's a patriotic thing to say we want a strong dollar. But when it's weak, man, investors make a lot of money. Is there a sweet spot where multinational, U.S. multinationals and investors can benefit, and yet the dollar retains that reserve currency position, which some people were worried about as it was in free fall and everything else is going through the roof? Yeah, and there's, there's certain parts of our portfolio it actually is going to help, to your point. And like international markets are a really good beneficiary of that, where they actually have underperformed the U.S. over the last decade. And arguably a part of that reason is because the dollar has been so strong. So seeing the dollar weekend is going to help things like international. It's going to help things like commodities, so gold and silver. And making sure you have a piece of those in your portfolio is actually going to benefit from that happening. And it is something we always want to make sure we have a piece of. So if it comes down, I agree with you, it actually can right. be a beneficial thing.